At 54, Jennifer Aniston is living her best life and earning critical acclaim and big box office numbers for her work. We've taken a look back at how far she's come. Both of Jennifer Aniston's parents were actors. Her father, John Aniston, became famous for his portrayal of Victor Kyriakis on Days of Our Lives. Her mother, actress Nancy Dow, appeared in popular TV sitcoms. Aniston's parents divorced when she was only nine years old. My parents' divorce was really um, a curveball. It was really a big heartbreak. The actress worked through her anger at her dad after the split, and they remained connected until his death in 2022. But Aniston's relationship with her mom was a different story. The actress has been open about her complicated relationship with her mother. In a 2015 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Aniston weighed in about her estrangement from her mom, saying, she was very critical of me because she was a model. She was gorgeous, stunning. I wasn't, I never was. I honestly still don't think of myself in that sort of light, which is fine. She was also very unforgiving. She would hold grudges that I just found so petty. Aniston's mother passed away in May 2016 after a long illness. Fortunately, Aniston and her mom had reconciled in the years prior to Dow's death. Friends premiered in 1994 and became one of the most popular TV sitcoms in history. I just went to your building and you weren't there and then this guy with a big hammer said that you might be here and you are, you are. Over 25 years later, fans are still invested in the characters of Rachel, Ross, Monica, Chandler, Phoebe, and Joey. Continued interest in the show led to a reunion special in 2021. Aniston is the biggest name to come from the sitcom, thanks to the way she leveraged her friend's fame to become an international movie star. But even though the series ended in 2004, the cast of Friends have remained close. In fact, Aniston and Courtney Cox have managed to stay best friends. Cox teased her BFF by dressing up like Aniston on her birthday in 2020. Cox posted on Instagram, no matter how hard you might try, there's only one Jennifer Aniston. Happy birthday, my dear friend, I love you. Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were the queen and king of Hollywood before their divorce in 2005. After they split up, Pitt plunged into a relationship with Angelina Jolie. Later, Aniston and the world found out that Pitt and Jolie began their romance while Pitt was still married. In 2016, Pitt and Jolie filed for divorce. You think this story's gonna have a happy ending? Happy endings are just stories that haven't finished yet. Both Pitt and Aniston have moved on from their past. A source told Us Weekly, Brad contacted Jen after her mom died, and she was touched that he knew what a difficult time it was. Aniston and Pitt rebuilt their relationship into a friendship after Pitt split with Jolie, and it appears the two stars are comfortable being friends. Aniston and Pitt broke the internet with their flirty behavior at the 2020 SAG Awards. Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. But the exes are just friends, despite the millions of fans who would love to see another romance. Jennifer Aniston is proof that 50 is the new 30. After her days as friends Rachel Green were over, she became a bona fide movie star. Then in 2019, Aniston returned to the small screen when she agreed to co-star with Reese Witherspoon in The Morning Show. Aniston and Witherspoon are also executive producers for the Apple TV series, which won an Emmy in 2020 and was nominated for 21 other awards. Aniston's performance in the show has earned rave reviews and the 2020 Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance performance by a female actor in a drama series. I'm all over this network. I need to have a say in the future of this place. In addition to her acting, Aniston has multiple endorsement deals, and in late 2020, she added the collagen brand Vital Proteins to the list, joining the company as chief creative officer. As far as her love life, Aniston seems very content hanging out with her puppy, Lord Chesterfield, and keeping a low profile. At 54 years old, Jennifer Aniston's growing creative and entrepreneurial successes make it pretty clear that she has much more to offer the world. In fact, Aniston shared with the New York Times that she didn't agree with society's stance that turning 50 meant your career was about to go into decline. Aniston explained, It's so weird, there's so much doom around that number. She went on to say that crossing the five-decade mark opened up a new creative chapter for her, sharing, I'm entering into what I feel is one of the most creatively fulfilling periods of my life. Life. Seriously, I've been doing this for 30 years and I feel like it's just about to really bloom. I am unprecedented. 
Aniston's 54th year, which officially started on February 11, 2023, has been especially successful. One month after her birthday, Aniston's second on-screen stint as Adam Sandler's wife in Murder Mystery 2 premiered on Netflix. The comedy thriller's trailer quickly topped 16 million views, a fantastic sign that fans have fallen in love with the pair's on-screen chemistry. Although the official figure hasn't been confirmed, it's been reported that Aniston made $10 million for her role. In 2023, Aniston expanded the acting and producing portion of her resume. In January, it was announced that Aniston and Julia Roberts were slated to appear in a comedy called Body Swap. Aniston and Roberts also sit on the producing team, as their respective production companies are involved in bringing the film to life. During an interview with Collider, Aniston talked about working with Roberts, saying, "'It's been a dream of mine forever and ever. Dream of mine.'" Aniston has also made some super cool moves within the beauty and wellness industry. According to her Instagram, she's decided to capitalize on her fans' interest in the way she stays in tip-top shape, posting, I'm officially part of the at Pival fam. So proud to support our female founder and the beyond talented trainers. This is one of my favorite workouts, and I'm so grateful for the team and excited for what's to come. According to Pivolve's official Instagram, the company describes themselves as a science-led method that combines low-impact functional fitness with resistance-based equipment to deliver results beyond a traditional workout. According According to the company's website, Aniston was first affiliated with the company as a consumer. Now she's getting paid to work out. Yeah, 54 is working quite well for Aniston.